Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Natasha Denona Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serums. So if you want to see my thoughts on these, then just keep watching. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market, including my girl Natasha Denona, who came out with quite a trendy product. Right now, it seems that blushes are all the rage, particularly liquid blushes and cream blushes as well. So she came out with a product that was extremely on trend. So let's go over the major details about these guys. So there are three shades in the line, and they are going to be about $22 each. You can currently pick these up on Sephora as well as the Natasha Denona website. No specification on the website about whether or not this is limited edition, though you can't trust whether it says that or not <laughs> anyways. So this is described as a silky liquid blush serum hybrid with perfect pigmentation to achieve a natural flush of color and it also has skincare infused in the product itself. For the most part the, the description on all of this is pretty cut and dry. You are able to use these both on the cheeks and the lips so you can use products however you would want but Natasha herself says these can be used for both. And now this is not my first impressions. I actually did my first impressions on these on my Instagram story. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are because if you aren't, you missed out on that content. So I have my thoughts on these. Let's get into the packaging. Now the box on all of these match the colors as you can see. All of these have seven milliliters or 0.23 fluid ounces of product. They have a 12 month shelf life and are made in Italy. So the packaging is very simple, very sleek. It is plastic so it's not glass it says Natasha Denona and then the bottom will have the name and all of the good details on that the applicator is quite long leaving you with just a little tiny bit of product and here's a closer look at the doe foot pretty pretty nondescript honestly this uh, I'm not impressed by the packaging I love how the packaging though is just one color you know what color you're grabbing for with this product so the first color that we are going to try on today is nude this is the lightest shade when I applied these on my Instagram the other day, I did not have any powder on my face. Today, I applied my makeup as I more traditionally would. So I have foundation, I have concealer, I even set my concealer with some powder underneath. By the way, I'm looking really dry today. I don't know, I'm just having a dry skin today and makeup is not sitting good on it. So it's just one of those days. And I also used a powder bronzer along the outside. I wanted to see how these worked over powder. Just so you are aware, in case these don't work, over powder they work and blend beautifully when the face is not set so that might have to be the first way that we apply it so this nude shade let me uh, swatch it for you oh my goodness my hands are dry too so you can see here's like that swatch right there sorry I have some leftover eyeliner and I want to show you how we blend out as you can see, it blends out to be pretty sheer. And one thing that is notable about this product, you can see how it instantly just hydrated my dry hand. <laughs> so how I really like to apply this is I like to put the product on my cheek and then use a brush to blend it out. That's what I found worked best for me. I did want to add that I didn't demo fingers, but I did try out fingers. And if you're looking for the most level of opacity, which is needed with a couple of these shades, definitely use the finger. It did blend out with the finger well but I don't know I just I don't like using my finger to work out cream blushes personally so that's not how I would choose to apply them however if we're talking in terms of pigmentation and getting the highest level possible definitely use your fingers so this shade you need a lot of color with because it's not really going to show up now the brush that I loved to blend it out is this it cosmetics heavenly skin brush I will see if I can find this and link it in the description box if I can another one that I also use to blend it out is the elf complexion duo brush this is great but this it cosmetic brush is amazing so I'm just gonna blend that out. So I did let it set on my cheek a little bit right now and I noticed that it's a little bit harder to blend out than if you were to just go straight in and do that. So maybe don't talk to a camera while this is sitting on your skin. And that's what this looks like. And I don't know if this is the color or if it removed my foundation. You know what I mean? Do you see what I'm seeing? Am I getting close enough? There we go. I'm getting even closer. 
it did not go well with what was happening here. So this definitely worked better when I did not set my under eyes. So maybe don't set your under eyes first. One thing I will say about this, I really love the hydration factor to this. My face is he hecka dry and today. This really instantly hydrated. I can definitely notice those skincare benefits that this has infused in here. But this color to me, uh, and I can already tell you this based on my use yesterday, I don't like it. It doesn't show up. The only time I would say that this color maybe would be good is for no makeup makeup days you know where you're wearing very light makeup and you just want like a touch a hint of color this would be good or if you are extremely fair and every blush color seems to overwhelm your face this would be really nice but I, it's just not worth the $22 for me. This color in particular, I'm only talking about this color, so I would pass on this one. Let's move on to the next color up, which is going to be the shade Daria. Now, interesting enough, they don't have the name on the bottom of the sticker, which I do not like. It only has the product number, but this is a shade Daria. As you know, she does have a cheek palette that is like a Daria cheek palette, and I am imagining that this color is based off of that. So let's take a look at the swatches over this, and I'm gonna go right over over my hand because this color is that nude wasn't doing it for me let me rub a little bit off and it came right off so that's Daria again you can see it's quite sheer I'm gonna put just a little bit more on my hand and let's blend it out I would say more color than the nude but let's put it on the cheek I'm just gonna go on the cheek, you can see I'm applying more than I normally would with a liquid blush because these are very, very sheer. I'm gonna blend it out right away. <laughs> Learned from my mistake last time. So this shade definitely shows up much more than the nude. It's a bright color and you can see it not agreeing with the powder at all all please wait to set your face that's kind of disappointing because i don't need to do that with other products again instant hydration to the cheek but it's like is it adding color or is it removing the makeup underneath it's really hard to tell i do like this color a bit more though than the nude side this one is a little bit brighter a little bit more fun than summer but again it is 22 dollars and you can see my face is not it's not looking so hot right now um very interesting. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do next before I move on to the deepest shade, which is blue. I think I'm gonna remove just a little bit of what's on my face. Maybe not remove. Let me just put a little bit more foundation right on top because we don't have much color that we need to cover anyways. I am wearing the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. We're just gonna put a little bit right on top. And I want it to kind of make it more seamless with what was ever was going on with the concealer. Cover up the powder basically. I mean, doing this honestly made my skin look better. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with the deepest shade now, which is Bloom. I want you to look at this swatch. It was just one swipe. You can see this has easily the most amount of color by far. It's almost weird how this color contains so much pigment and the other two are just like, ugh. But anyways, what I learned yesterday. Now, now I no longer have powder. I have learned this does not like powder. So. I'm just gonna do a little bit like that. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. complexion brush just so you can see it in action. Look at that, lots of pigment there. If you are very, very fair, I think this will overwhelm you. <laughs> I do, it's very, very bright. But again, it still is acting weird with the concealer underneath. I don't know if I need to play with different products, but yeah, wherever the powder was, it seems to really detect that. I'm gonna use my sponge to kind of fuse this. Of this color, I can get behind. Now that I fixed it, I've kind of diffused the concealer powder in this product. How beautiful is this shade? It's rosy, the finish is extremely skin-like. This is the only one where I feel like I can tell that the foundation is there. It wasn't removed underneath. This is such a good color for summer. And the thing that I really love about these is how this is a genuinely skin finish. You like can't even really detect where the product is. It's extremely hydrating on my skin, which I'm saying for the third time. I'm just gonna do it on this cheek as well. Less is more, obviously, with this product. So this one is the opposite in pigmentation from the other two shades. And this is gonna be the shade that's gonna work for 90% of the population here because these first two shades, unless you're very, very fair or you literally are going for that completely no makeup makeup look, 
I'm just not crazy about these two. But this shade, how beautiful does this look? I love this flush. It's such like a, I spent today like exercising in the summer. I think it is gorgeous. That's how it looks. I mean, you can see how hydrating it looks on the skin. It really is incredible. So I'm going to put on some lipstick, a touch of highlighter as well, and I'm going to come back with my final thoughts and thoughts on wear time, all of that good stuff. Here's the last look at Bloom. Oh my goodness, wait, I just realized. Yes, I forgot to show you the lips. The reason why I forgot is because I don't like this product on the lips. So I'm gonna show you. Let me show you what nude looks like on the lips. Okay, like you're not, you're not gonna wear it like that. You're gonna use your finger. Nothing disappears. That's a waste. You can't use this one on the lip. Now let's go into Daria. So this color is like a bit too pastel. It's not as flattering on the lips. Again, it's like, to me, I'm just like, there's no point to this. Okay, lastly, we're going to use Bloom. So this is the only shade, just like the face, that's going to add impact to the lips. It works as a really nice lip stain because it's not going to transfer anywhere. I wore this last night as a lip stain and my husband was like, are you wearing lipstick? I can't tell. And I was, I would be like, no, and nothing would show up on my finger. It's still drying down a little bit right now. Um, So it works great as a lip stain. It gives you that I just ate a popsicle kind of look. That being said, I'm still not crazy about these as lip products. I would only use this probably out of necessity if I forgot a lip color. So I'm actually gonna put on a lip color after this. With these for lips, I don't like them. So yeah, okay. I'll actually be back now to give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, I am back with my final thoughts. And if you couldn't tell, I'm really not crazy about these products. I think yesterday when I used it on Instagram, I liked it a lot more because there was zero powder on my face when I was blending these out. So yeah, I liked them better yesterday. But now that I'm coming back, realistically, I wear powder on my face. I wear powder bronzer. I like to set my under eyes. So for me, I just think I have to adjust how I do my makeup a little bit too much. So for me, this isn't a realistic, easy to use product. Now, if you don't wear any powder, you're one of those people who don't, <laughs> you actually might really like the formula of these because they are so extremely hydrating, especially for those of you who do have dry skin. But for me and how I apply my makeup on an everyday basis, this doesn't fit in with that routine very well. And then if we're talking on colors, I really cannot recommend the nude shade or the Daria shade unless you are extremely fair or you just like hate blush and you you don't like the look of too much blush, then maybe this would work for you. But you saw I had a lot of issues, especially when it, it was detecting that powder. It just made it so visible between the lines of the powder and where I didn't have powder. So I wasn't too crazy about these shades for $22. I'm not going to pay $22 to have to change my makeup routine. The only shade that I would say is worth it, and it's not going to work for somebody who is of a lighter complexion, is the shade Bloom. Even for me, I have to be very, very careful. But this one, this is a color to me that is worth adjusting my routine for. If I'm going for that kind of sunburnt look, maybe my skin is extra dry and I'm not really wearing too much powder that day, then I would use this. And I like the color enough to kind of step down with the powder as well. So this is the only shade I would recommend. And even then it's kind of like, it's, it's cool to have, but I don't see myself reaching for it a lot. If you're looking for a similar product, I would lead you in the way of the Rare Beauty liquid blushes. Those are so much better than these. They're not going to act weird over powder. I believe you get more product as well. I could be wrong. Let me check on that. Look at the Rare Beauty one. Okay, you don't get too much more. Like the Natasha Denona is 0.23 fluid ounces. The Rare Beauty is only 0.25 fluid ounces, so not much more product, but I just think this one is a little bit more user-friendly, easy to use, more versatile with other products, and the color actually shows up, so. But looking from the other side, I, I cannot get over how hydrating these are. They Crazy how hydrating they are on my dry skin. It actually like moisturizes and improves the texture of my skin, but I just think it's a little bit too hard to use for my preferences. Now, as far as wear time, I I wore it last night for a couple hours. I didn't notice any fading, but I'm gonna wear this today and I'm gonna put a note right here to let you know how it wore. Wear time update. I would say I've been wearing the blush for 
six seven hours and it definitely faded now keep in mind i was wearing the bloom shade so that was definitely the most vibrant shade and it wore down very pretty i really like the color that's left over but i'm thinking if you have the two lighter colors um the color would not be there the color is only still here because i use the most vibrant color so my suggestion would be if you want these colors to last would definitely be to set it with a powder blush on top but these aren't amazing wearing, but liquid blushes tend to be a little bit difficult in that regard. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you at least found it helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one.